Think about this. What if all you ever saw of the world was a confusing blur of light and dark areas? If the only world you knew was one of sound, smell, and touch? Well, that's the world Michael Gregory lives in every day. Legally blind since birth, Michael manages to dodge enough traffic to get himself around Beaumont on a bicycle. And as long as anybody around here can remember, he's been picking up cans to make a living. No, life has not been kind to Michael Gregory. I've been through some hard times. It wasn't always easy growing up, being pushed around, laughed at. But now, thank God, I made it. There's a lot of things in life you see that you don't want to, per se, throw away. You may be able to salvage it. So you pick up the pieces, look at them, see what can be done with them, and start all over again. With nothing more than a potter's wheel and a lump of clay, Michael Gregory, the man who lived in the dumpster, transformed. Meet Michael Gregory, artist, sculptor, and impressionist. Michael is a man without sight, but his work is pure vision. My, my artwork gives me a chance to express myself, to give, to show my inner, my inner emotions, what is joy, what is sadness, what is, regardless of what it is, humor, my anger, hostility, frustrations. I even bring my jar out in my clay. One of the things we decided to do was not to influence him. Sounds kind of like we were trying to ignore him in some ways, but really what we wanted to do was see what came from his true heart. Where most sighted people will look at the outside or something. I look at things from the inside out. I see things the way it really is, not through rose colored glasses. I do my work out of feelings, out of the way I feel about it. Today, Michael's work is in demand at folk art shows and museums all over the country. Some of the world's premier sculptors call his art genuine self-expression. For Michael, it's a materialization of the attitude and philosophy he learned while living on the street. Being legally blind, I've been ridiculed, ridiculed and forced out of jobs because they're saying you can't do this, you can't do that. Well, so what? I found something I could do. Let's work with my hands. So by that, I was an empty vessel, just looking to be filled. Hey. Come on, let me see, roll him. There you go. There you go. Use your fingers. There you go. As an inspiration to others who live a challenged life, Michael has turned to teaching. At the Beaumont State Center, he helps others overcome their obstacles by molding their emotions in clay. Even though he is blind, Michael is helping his students see and experience the world around him. When you're working with the handicap, they have a more of a tendency to appreciate what you do for them than someone that's got everything going for them. 
Because when you work with the handicapped and they make a piece, whatever they make, they're happy. They can look at it in an entirely different light. A handicap is no more. It's just anything that keeps you from being at your best. And when I got started with the Beaumont State Center, what I told them, I said, give me your worst and I will give you my best. And I expect the best out of everything I do. If Michael Gregory had not been born blind, nor lived on the street, nor rummaged through dumpsters for cans, he might never have spun his dreams into reality on the potter's wheel. He might not have taken the risk of beating the odds to make a name for himself in the art world. But Michael Gregory had the courage and the vision to see his future as an artist, thanks to one man who gave the guy in the dumpster a chance. Once you see somebody who uh, should have every reason to be depressed about the world and every reason not to do what he is doing right now and to go on and do it, it, you really have no excuses for yourself. You know, we, we who have all our facilities and all our capabilities and look at Michael and say, yeah, I can go another day. Here at the studio is really the only place I really felt like I was at home. I feel at home here. I have a place in this big old world. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.